Hey guys, Coach Angel here. So I'm sharing with you a quick tip of how I approach meal planning each and every week, whether we're buying for, I mean, the entire week or only half a week or whatever. Um, I just look at all the meals that, all the uh, days of the week that I plan on cooking a meal, and then I come over to my stash of um, eating guides that I have from the previous programs or I go online to teambeachbody.com uh, and search the recipes there. And the reason why I prefer to use uh, all these eating guides from all the programs that I finished, you know, like um, I have a three day refresh maintenance guide. Uh, so inside there has all kinds of uh, meal ideas for me. Uh, so like tonight we're gonna be having uh, some fajitas. It's kind of a fajita. I forget what they call it, but it's in the um, it's right in here Here we go right there uh, At the option number one uh, meal. We chose that it looked really good to us um, But then we I also still have my 22 minute hardcore. I have my p90x3 book I have my fixate and all of my 21 day fix eating guides my pio guide So size is another good one that I like to pull from they have a really good Asian star fry in there so the reason why I like to pull from these books versus just going to like let's say uh, any of my uh, you know other cooking uh, cook cookbooks that I have from like Rachel Ray or whatever is because these already have my uh, fixed container information in it for me. So it tells me exactly how much protein, exactly how much fat, exactly how many servings of vegetables I'm getting for each one of my meals. And then it just makes it easy for me, right? So then um, once I know how many days of the week that I plan on eating and I come in here and I grab the recipes that I want, then I'm also able to just write down the ingredients and move on. Now, this is another resource that I use because remember Shakeology is one of my meals every day. So I like to hold on to my recipe calendars that come in every single one of your boxes of Shakeology when you order it. So let's say you ordered a box of strawberry uh, Shakeology, then you're gonna get one with strawberry-based recipes and chocolate and vanilla and so on, right? So this is a really cool tool that I noticed in our most recent box of Shakeology that came in. And uh, on one side, it, it shows you how to craft a creamy Shakeology creation, but it kind of breaks down, gives you all kinds of ideas that you can put inside your shake. So you start with your base of either water or milk or coconut milk or cashew milk or so on, and then how to add your greens and different fruits and vegetable ideas um, or any extras to create different flavors. Cause you can really get creative with your shakes, you guys. I, I tend to keep it simple, but you know, you can get really creative if you want to, okay? And then on the other side, it, gave, it gives you several different recipes. So like the top one in the chocolate, it gives you a cinnamon roll recipe. And then you've got um, some ideas for green berries. So no matter what flavor you have, cafe latte, tropical strawberry, whatever, they've given you several ideas on that. So I thought that was a pretty cool a uh, neat new insert that you can look for in your next Shakeology shipment. But um, that's kind of how I how I approach. These are the resources that I like to use. Um, and you know, if I'm if I if I want, I can go to Pinterest. But um, my one word of warning with that, because you can find all kinds of stuff on Pinterest. But uh, you know, uh, the, my one warning with that is just make sure you use some common sense and you kind of check the facts for yourself, right? Because there are a lot of people out there who are gonna make a, make a post on Pinterest that say it's 21 day fix friendly or body beast friendly or you know whatever, whatever, but double check your, um, your macro nutrient information against your uh, nutrition guy that comes with the program that you're working, okay? All right, that's my little Monday tip for you guys for meal planning and I'll talk to you later. I gotta head to the store.